Hello everybody, uh, it's me Andy here again with another video on the Brain Attack music channel. I'm sure we're all familiar with the fast mnemonic face, arms, speech and time. Something in the UK here we get quite a lot of uh, publicity about with regard to whether that's advertisements on the TV, billboards or whatever, it's, it's quite a well a well honed message and I'm sure most of us stroke survivors will be familiar with it. However, it's not the be all and end all when it comes to diagnosis. As an example, my particular case, and I know from reading a lot of your incidences are on Facebook posts and social media posts is that the face, arms, speech, time, the fast mnemonic didn't actually apply in your particular case for your particular stroke. And certainly with me and it's very common with other people who had like me a cerebellar stroke, the um, it just none of, none of that applied to me at all. To the extent that uh, my main issue was balance. I fell out of bed, I couldn't, it's early in the morning and I needed, uh, I needed to go to the bathroom and I couldn't get off the ground, I couldn't stand up. I had this huge, all the world was spinning around me madly and I had this huge, I can only describe it as a magnet, a magnetic force pulling me to the left and it, it was such that I couldn't get up off the ground. I could talk okay. My face was fine. I, my arms were fine because I was using my arms to pull myself. <laughs> I could only crawl. That's all I could do. I was using my arms to pull myself along the floor. Albeit I kept going to the left and I'd have to come around and keep going back again. And my wife was quite worried. So she dialed. 999 called emergency services a first responder came out by this time i was lying on the floor in the bathroom and um he was chatting away to me me to him and he said uh, to my wife outside of earshot to me oh, i think he's got labyrinthitis which is uh, an infection of the inner ear and it causes imbalance so he disappeared and about 15 minutes later, an ambulance arrived. The paramedics came in, they did an ECG, checked my heart out, because I just thought I was having a heart attack. I saw my dad die of a heart attack when I was 16, and I just assumed that's what was happening to me. So they did an ECG, checked my heart out, and they concluded that I had labyrinthitis. So they gave me an injection for an, an anti-nausea medication and uh, disappeared off and it was only probably six seven hours later that my GP arrived and thought that I'd had a stroke called another ambulance and I was blue lighted to uh, to hospital whereupon eventually I was diagnosed with a cerebellar stroke so for me and I know many of you guys as well the face the face <laughs> the fast face arms speech, time, mnemonic, doesn't actually apply. And I came across some, uh, some research that had been done around this very issue, and I wanted to share it with you. So here we go. The research was actually carried out at the University of Kentucky. And one of the uh, researchers there had noticed that there were people like me, probably people like you, who had had a stroke, but it hadn't been picked up. None of the, none of the fast symptoms appeared to have any resemblance to the stroke that they'd had. It didn't help with the diagnosis at all. So the researchers started looking at this category of stroke where the fast mnemonic didn't apply and this is what they found. So of the people in the study, there were just under 750 people in the study, they found that 14% of those people showed no fast symptoms whatsoever when they had their stroke 14 percent and they looked at 
this 14% in a bit more detail and they found that 42% of the 14%, so nearly half of the 14%, had issues with their gait, issues with walking, issues with balance. And that another 40% of that 14% had problems with their eyes, had problems with vision. So they came up with the B for balance and E for eyes and suggested, you may have heard about this, B fast. So fast becomes extended to include B for balance and E for eyes. B fast, if it was applied to all the uh, 750 odd people in the, in the study, the uh, diagnosis for stroke was, re was reduced from 14% of people being missed to just over 4% of people being missed. So it made big difference to the number of people who would be, had BFAST been included, um, their stroke would have been diagnosed. And I can't help but think that for me, if that was the case and the first responder and the first ambulance crew, paramedics, had been trained in BFAST, straight away they'd have gone B for balance. Ooh, he can't get up off the floor, he's all over the place. And maybe this is a bit more than labyrinthitis. We've been talking about percentages, but I've got the actual numbers down here. So of the uh, just under 750 people in the study, 736 people in the study, uh, 103, 14% is 103 people, so that's 103 people that have been misdiagnosed. Had BFAS been included, then of those 103 who had been misdiagnosed, 71, roughly 70%, 71 would have been correctly diagnosed with a stroke. So that's in that fairly small sample, 736 people, 71 people would have been correctly diagnosed with a stroke and may well have been diagnosed earlier and got treatment earlier. So I'm a big proponent, because it obviously affected me, I'm a big proponent of the Be Fast scenario. In fact, if you look at my Brain Attack Music Facebook page, you'll, say it's, you'll see it's at Be Fast Signs, um, because I think the be fast thing should be promoted a lot better. And it shouldn't just be fast, it should be be fast. And hopefully we're going to pick up a lot more strokes than we currently do. So that's my thoughts on the fast versus be fast uh, situation. Um, be interested to know your thoughts so please leave some comments if you're watching of our YouTube can you leave some comments on the uh, on the YouTube comments section or if you're seeing this and it's uh, via Facebook then please leave some, leave some comments be interested to know your situation whether you were misdiagnosed whether you weren't and if you were misdiagnosed had BFAST been in operation would you have been picked up do you think anyway thank you very much for watching take care and see you soon bye for now